Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> 529. What's up, friend? Last Thursday, Global Lab received a patch that a lot of people are just ignoring, while in my opinion, it will change the way we play Black Desert forever. Now, I'm not exaggerating when I say this, and now I'll tell you why. Also, at the end of the video, I will give you my two cents on what changed to Sorceress. Up until now, Global Lab was um, a bit scuffed, to say the least. I'm sure most of you knew about the existence of Global, and you probably heard a lot of people saying that testing there was pretty much useless. And that was true, until today. You had to do quite a lot of work to gear up on the Global Lab, even when it was made easier. To give you some example, to make a pen accessory, you had to open a box containing multiple base accessories, smash them together endlessly with crons, hoping they wouldn't degrade. And even then, the accessory choice was very limited. You wanted to cover your gear? Tough luck! You had to spam pen clicks and zero fail stacks to generate kafers and then extract them. Good luck getting kafer 20 with that. And the list goes on and on and on. No special evasion, no journals, very limited selection of crystals, you get the idea. You could test some random stuff, but you could never replicate what you had on live servers. Well, that was the case until now. Last patch introduced a lot of new items on the global vendor. It has everything. Every single relevant crystal, pennanted accessories, kafers, everything. I have absolutely no idea why it took them literally years to introduce this, but it's finally here. Sure, you can make the argument that currently Global has different PvP modifiers than Live, which of course is a fair argument and it makes it so that you cannot do a one-to-one -one comparison to the Live server, but whenever we're getting the same modifiers, then we'll have the perfect testing ground to min-max builds for both PvE and PvP. I don't think people realize how huge this is for BDO. Up until now, there was no real way to just test so many different things in such a clean testing environment. And on top of that, on Global we even have damaged numbers when hitting players. I think this will be huge in the near future, as more and more people will start to min-max and come up with the best builds and gem setups. After some testing, even I am switching a couple of things for my own build. Alright, let me give you some considerations I got from playing a week on Global Lab. From what I could gather, they want to make the game a bit more streamlined. Some classes are just garbage with evasion and strong with DR. For some classes, DR just doesn't work. And some classes seems to be even more of a hard counter to others than we have currently in the game. The only class that really looked overtuned was Warrior. Warrior currently can be really tanky by going heavy on the DR and for some reason can steal one combo or even one shot every single class. That is not right! That is not the way Jesus intended us to play Black Desert. Overall, even if you run Kafra 20 armor and pen dead god, you're still not insanely tanky. Only thing that can really make you tanky is your class and some specific consumables, like the 10% special evasion perfume. To give an example, an archer will never be as tanky as a mystic while wearing the same set of armor, even without any self buff or running any consumable. It is very similar right now, even on our version of the game, but it looks even more accentuated on Global. Now, my opinion on Sork. I have tested both Succession and Awakening, both on realistic gear and on full C20 pen accessories, and these are my conclusions. Succession definitely received a pretty big ranged nerf. It's not as bad as some people are making it to be, but it is very noticeable. They simply don't want ranged nukes anymore, and I 100% agree with that. The damage on combos is still insane, if not even stronger than before. I could actually easy one combo a 500 plus dp Valk without even a reset. I think this is overall a great change, but it definitely made me lose interest on Succession Sonic. I like the ranged playstyle a lot, and while the class is still very viable for PvP in the future, I just think it's way too boring compared to Awakening and it just won't be interesting enough for me to play. Now to Awakening. By looking at the numbers on the first lab patch, you would think that Awakening got this insane buff and that it would make it super OP. Well, no. Class modifiers are what really matter, and even if we saw big numbers, they actually mean nothing. One of the most glaring examples of this is the 30% damage nerf on Shadow Ignition, when somehow the skill now even deals more damage than before, 
Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results I got with Awakening by using my current gear, but I have to say that the more you scale the gear up, the weaker the class gets. A good Awakening player will always pull his weight in PvP, but currently, at hard cap, Awakening Sark looks considerably weaker than most classes. Overall, I don't mind it, but I can see a lot of flavor of the mon sorks were rolling away. For today, that's all. I'll definitely be doing more global lab testing on stream whenever we get a new patch on my streaming days, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm always up to discuss everything on my Discord, link in the description. It's amazing that you've come this far in the video. You're actually one of the very few. So to reward you, kisses.